Taylor Swift's latest business move, matches the retro title of her new album, 1989. The erstwhile country singer has removed her entire music catalog from Spotify, the world's largest subscription streaming service. Swift has already been a vocal critic of music streaming, writing in the Wall Street Journal that, platforms like Spotify have contributed to the music industry's ongoing financial decline. The move may frustrate Swift's fans, but it will work brilliantly for the singer, at least in the short term. The first week sales projections for her album, 1989 have climbed steadily, and it is now expected to have the biggest first week sales of any album in the US since the Eminem show in 2002. Keeping her newest LP out of Spotify and other streaming services seems to have driven fans to buy the album outright. But making music available solely on a declining format is a risky strategy that requires a swift level of clout and influence. Taylor Swift blames streaming services for this ongoing decline, but that's a short-term view of the industry's financial woes. Album sales have been in free fall since 2000, when Napster made stealing music much simpler than buying it. US album shipments declined from about 13 billion that year to about 4 billion in 2010, the year before Spotify arrived on American shores, according to the Recording Industry Association of America. It's true that Spotify and other streaming services have caused a decline in digital album sales, but there's no evidence that records bought via the iTunes store were ever going to make up for revenue lost from the collapse of the CD market.